Second turn tonight, there are plenty of sushi bars around the Chicagoland area, but most have their fish delivered already portioned. And our food guy says there is a tiny sushi counter in East Pilsen Supermarket where they bring in a whole fish every week and then they break it down themselves. Steve Delinsky joining us tonight with a taste. It's a very fresh taste. Yeah. Uh, two of you don't judge a sushi bar by its address, guys. Uh, tuna, salmon, mackerel, and snapper, just a few of the species arriving in giant styrofoam boxes each week. Not only do the chefs have to butcher them for service, they spend nearly as much time obsessing about their rice. It's delivery day at 312 Fish Market, a cozy sushi counter tucked away on the second floor of the sprawling 88 Marketplace, which houses a number of restaurants and food shops just west of Chinatown. Walk past the groceries and just to the right of the No Frills Dining Court to see the chefs unpack enormous hamachi and kanpachi. There's bright orange kinmidai nestled next to horse mackerel and smaller flying fish. We get from the Soyo Market in Japan twice a week. We also get some fish from Hawaii. We also get it from the Atlantic. There's scaling, then butchering using precise knife cuts. Lots of trimming, then meticulously pulling the pin bones out. The salmon flesh is a gorgeous deep orange highlighted with parallel lines of fat. Fung removes the silver skin of his mackerel with a chopstick, and within minutes he sliced it and presented it in a flamboyant display including the carcass it just came from. Meanwhile, the rice has to be made. Right after it's cooked, it's seasoned. Mostly it's vinegar, salt, sugar. We use a grain vinegar instead of a rice vinegar. It's more acidic, so you have to drop the city levels. I add in yuzu as well. The cook then cools the rice by agitating it and even using a small fan. You want kind of like pasta al dente kind of texture where you want, when you bite into it, you can still have that little bit of bounce. Back at the counter, some fish gets torched while others are assembled raw. First, some fresh wasabi root is grated. A finger's worth is added to the inside. Then the rice is hand formed and placed onto it for some classic nigiri. They also make maki rolls with imported nori or seaweed sheets. When eating the nigiri, Fung stresses the importance of the rice. You want to feel the grain. You want to taste that grain. You want that texture. Therefore, he recommends lightly dragging it through soy sauce, fish side down. I think the best way is with your hands. You don't want any of the soy to really soak into that rice. That is important. Uh, the dining room inside the restaurant is tiny, but they've got more tables out in the common area next to the grocery store. It's certainly one of the most unique places to eat sushi in town. More info on our website, NBCChicago.com. Just search for The Food Guy. You would not expect to find it there. I was going to say. But it's really a fun little gem. And how did you find this place? Because they did a story on the market a while ago for us and then saw it and then have gone back a couple times.